Hello dear wrestling fans, it's me again and I'm about to be speaking of wrestling and I just finished watching the last episode, weekly episode of Monday Night Raw from August 3rd featuring Jeremy Piven and some very disturbing Chinese guy as the special guest host. Why I'm saying that it was this disturbing is that I've read on several forums everywhere that people more or less stand in line to put an end to this Chinese guy, this Chinese character, because he was terribly annoying. I don't know why he was there, I don't know for what reason he was put in charge of Monday Night Raw, but he was not entertaining. That's what wrestling's supposed to be all about. WWE is world wrestling entertainment. Jerry Piven was booked as a face, and watching this show, it was kind of turbulent. I sat there and I felt miserable about several other, uh, several different things. First off, I felt I can line all these dots, these arguments up why I felt that Raw was miserable to start with. First off, I felt well, okay. We have Jeremy Piven, yet another face general, uh, special guest host, the general manager, and he's messing with the Miss. And I thought they were driving these stipulations between John Cena versus the Miss. Uh, the ramifications of that match all too far. Miss not being at SummerSlam and never ever being able to show up in LA again with the WWE Raw would have been perfectly enough. They could have used that in the case of Miss losing. They could have used that for about a year every time WWE showed up in LA. They could also have this as a storyline for the Miss. Uh, till the upcoming uh, SummerSlam. Instead, they killed it off by saying that Miss will never ever be able to wrestle on WWE Raw again. Uh, that was stretching it way too far, and I think that was kind of bur burying the Miss whom they tried to build up in the, in the last months. That was one thing. One other thing I felt miserable about, as was I said, this Chinese guy it was terrible, and I, I don't understand. He was not funny. He didn't make me laugh one time. I didn't hear anyone in the crowd laughing. Did anyone of you laugh? Uh, I don't even know who this Chinese guy was to start with. It was some some star from Hangover, I guess, the upcoming movie with Jeremy Piven. That's all I know, but I don't care. Secondly, thirdly, I don't know what, I felt like, please stop bringing in all these special guest hosts that pull these plugs. It's plugs for their movies, their series, their, their whatever they create, the music careers, their music upcoming tours. There is just too much plugs going on for these uh, celebrities showing up. I think if they show up on Raw, yeah, they could have some plugs, but not every time, not several times per show. They're there to produce wrestling and to be a part of a wrestling show. So be it. Leave it be. I know WWE might get a lot of money from this sponsors, but enough is enough. That's how I felt. And I also felt, what the heck, WWE went out a couple of weeks ago and they said Oh, we're in such, such, such a stress. We only got four weeks between Night of Champions and SummerSlam. Man, we were looking to maybe erase a pay-per-view like the Bash, no, Extreme Rules, Judgment Day, to be able to have more time for the upcoming SummerSlam. Because, after all, we're now going to project all our power to it, and it's going to be the second biggest pay-per-view of the year, and we're going to establish it as that. And I felt for like the first, over the first hour, they did not like even mention SummerSlam. They didn't even mention SummerSlam. The only time they mentioned it was when Jeremy Piven accidentally called it SummerFest. I don't, I don't know if that was booked for him to say that, but if it was, it was really stupid because it diminished the pay-per-view. It made him look like someone who doesn't know a shit about wrestling. And that's a disrespect to the WWE and the wrestling business and us as a wrestling fans who deserve uh, people being special guest hosts who is there to produce wrestling, who knows about wrestling and does it good. And that kind of pisses me off to see, to see that kind of stuff. Uh, what, make, what makes me uncertain is because he later called Chavo Charo backstage. So it could be that he, he was booked to say stuff wrong. 
to be kind of kind of a jerk, but I, I rather think it was a try from the WWE to make him look like a jerk who said things wrong because they saw him out in, out in the ring and he said summer first. They felt, oh my God, we gotta try to cover this up. Let's book him backstage now and may, say, say several wrestlers' names wrong, such as Charo. So I think that was a an honest mistake when he said summer first. And that's fuck him for doing that. Fuck, fuck Jeremy Piven for doing that wrong. Because it was the same thing with Chuck. So last week he came in, and I mean, it looked like he really didn't really have a clue. It's okay, like Seth Green, if you look like you don't have a clue, clue if you're in a wrestling match, because wrestling fans know that this guy is not a wrestler. But if you're booked to host a show, you get a fucking look like you're the host and that you know what you're talking about not say stuff wrong not look like you have rehearsed it 100 times before doing it and this pisses me off and this was what made me feel like raw was a miserable show however wwe is absolutely phenomenal 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 at uh, twisting things around they did it from the get-go uh, somewhere in the last get to go in the last half hour of the show where they had legacy Cody Rhodes Teddy Biasi cleanly defeating Triple H in a handicap match I never saw that coming I could never predict that coming and um, as it looked they kind of annihilated him at the end he was there flat on his back he lost the match he cut the promo claiming maybe he needed backup kinda diminished legacy but not that terrible I mean we all saw legacy cleanly defeated Triple H and that's no small feat he said that he needed backup uh, apparently some sort of a DX reunion coming maybe for SummerSlam DX versus legacy because here WWE also made it an interesting tweak to it they could just have had Triple H call Shawn Michaels that's we have to assume it was that he had on the phone and Shawn Michaels could have said in the phone, yeah, of course I'm coming. And we have this heroic match coming up. Instead, the book did like Shawn Michaels seemed like he didn't want to come back. He hung up on Triple H. And now we have to believe that Triple H will have to hear about this from Legacy next week. And they have a good build up for SummerSlam. Still, I, I missed WWE mentioning, mentioning the name SummerSlam. It happened like one time, and that was when they plugged the Aerosmith DV CD and the Aerosmith theme song, You Get a Move, which is the official theme song for SummerSlam. So please, if you feel like you have a little time to build up a pay-per-view, then focus all your programs on that pay-per-view solely. Make everything revolve around that pay-per-view. Don't have Mark Henry come out dressed as a leprechaun. Why was that? That was, that was just stupid. And why in the blue hell do they keep burying Chavo Guerrero like they do? I mean, it's like the fifth week in Rona. For over a month they have buried Chavo Guerrero using, using Hornswoggle. I know he's very over with the kids, but what has he done to deserve this? I guess it has to do with um, Vicky Guerrero just leaving and he's now becoming the um, government mule as JR would say and he's quite apparently in the doghouse the infamous WWE doghouse however more things that impressed me I have been so much looking for a heel special guest host and by golly we got it Jeremy Piven turned heel if it was Randy Orton bullying bullying his way to get what he wanted from Jeremy Piven and therefore making Jeremy Piven look like a heel or if it actually was Jeremy Piven being in an ambush in cahoots with Randy Orton all night long doesn't really matter what matters is that finally Randy Orton sneezed and told a special guest host off he made them look stupid back when he told them off uh, threatening them to kick them in the head they got scared great because there have been too much special guest hosts making the wrestlers look weak. And that's not their purpose. For several weeks now Randy Orton and Chris Jericho have been punished. The Miss lost the match. But due to Piven turning heel I don't know if the stipulations are really in full force. So Raw went from this 
to this in my book great not not a great show but a very good show and finally we are seemingly tuning up for SummerSlam the second biggest pay-per-view of the year thank you for watching and feel free to express your opinions have a nice day